Imagine stepping back in time, not 100 years, not even 10,000 years, but 4.7 million years ago. The Earth was wild, untamed, and merciless. No skyscrapers, no fire at your command, no houses, no walls, no guns. Just endless African plains, roaring predators, and fragile humans, small, defenseless, yet determined to survive. How did they do it? How did our earliest ancestors manage to endure in a world where almost everything wanted them dead? Today, we take you on a cinematic journey into the prehistoric past, uncovering the daily struggles, the ingenious survival tactics, and the remarkable resilience of early humans who lived 4.7 million years ago. The Earth 4.7 million years ago was not like the one we know. Africa, the cradle of humankind, looked both familiar and alien. The Great Rift Valley stretched with towering cliffs and deep basins. Grasslands rolled endlessly. Trees dotted the horizon, offering both safety and danger. Rivers flowed, teeming with crocodiles, while the plains were ruled by predators, saber-toothed cats, giant hyenas, and packs of wild dogs larger than anything alive today. It was here, in East Africa, in places like Ethiopia and Kenya, that some of the earliest ancestors of humans walked. Creatures like Australopithecus anamensis, part ape, part human. They were small, standing barely four feet tall, with long arms, powerful hands, and a face that still looked more like a chimp than us. But make no mistake, these beings were pioneers. They were learning to walk upright. And that single change, bipedalism, would set the stage for everything humans would become. Survival meant one thing, food. But hunting was not an option, not yet. These early humans did not have spears or arrows. They did not even fully understand fire. Instead, survival depended on foraging. Women, men, and children searched the land for roots, tubers, fruits, nuts, and seeds. They cracked open shells, plucked berries, dug for edible plants. They scavenged carcasses left behind by predators. With sharp stones, they scraped meat from bones, risking their lives as vultures and hyenas circled. This was dangerous work. Imagine kneeling over a zebra carcass while lions lingered just beyond the tall grass. One mistake, and you became the meal. But through cunning, timing, and teamwork, they ate. And every calorie mattered, every berry, every scrap of meat, every marrow bone cracked open for fat. That was survival. Now picture this. You are a young prehistoric human, no taller than your chest, walking upright but still clumsy. The sun is setting. Shadows stretch across the plain. And suddenly, a saber-toothed cat appears. There is no running faster than it. No tree is tall enough, no weapon in your hands. What do you do? Survival was not about strength. It was about awareness. These early humans developed extraordinary senses. They learned to listen for danger, smell approaching predators, and read the movements of animals around them. They relied on community. Alone, they were weak. Together, they were strong. The moment one spotted danger, the group moved quietly, cautiously, always staying close to trees, caves, or high ground. Predators ruled the land, but humans learned to rule the art of escape. One of the biggest misconceptions about early humans is that they always had fire. But at 4.7 million years ago, fire was not yet controlled. Yes, they saw it. Lightning struck trees and flames spread across the plains. They feared it. They respected it. But they could not yet tame it. This meant nights were long, terrifying, and cold. The darkness was alive with growls and footsteps eyes glowing in the shadows. So what kept them safe? The trees. Climbing at night was common. Entire groups would ascend into branches, gripping tightly as the forest echoed with roars below. It was uncomfortable. It was dangerous. But it was life. They were prisoners of the night, waiting for dawn. If there is one thing that saved prehistoric humans, it was each other. Unlike lions or hyenas, humans were not the strongest hunters. 
Unlike elephants, they had no tusks or massive size, but they had something unique, the ability to care for one another. Injury in the wild usually meant death, but these early humans did not always abandon their wounded. Evidence shows bones that healed from fractures, suggesting others helped carry, feed, and protect the injured. Others carried children on their hips while foraging. Fathers shared food. Groups defended each other from predators. It was this bond, this community survival instinct, that gave humans an edge. Around this time, stones became more than rocks. Somewhere, one of our ancestors picked up a sharp piece of stone and realized it could cut, it could smash, it could crack bones. This was the birth of the first tools. They were not fancy. No polished axes or sheep spears, just jagged flakes of rock used to scrape hides, crack open nuts, or butcher scavenged carcasses. But this changed everything. Tools meant access to marrow, fat, and meat. Extra nutrition fueled bigger brains. Bigger brains fueled better survival. Step by step, survival turned into dominance. The climate 4.7 million years ago was unpredictable. Some years, rain was plentiful. Grass grew, rivers flowed, and food was abundant. Other years, drought came. Rivers dried up, plants shriveled, animals died in the dust. Humans had to adapt or perish. They learned migration, moving with the seasons, following herds, seeking water. It was a gamble every time. Move too late, and you starved. It moved too early, and you faced predators in unfamiliar land. But migration kept them alive. We often think of culture as art, music, or writing. But even in those early days, seeds of culture were growing. These humans communicated, not with words as we know them, but with gestures, sounds, and expressions. They warned of danger. They shared where food was. They comforted children. This was the start of language, the beginning of storytelling, the first sparks of what makes us human. So how did prehistoric humans survive 4.7 million years ago? They did not conquer the world through strength. They did not outfight lions or outrun cheetahs. They survived because they learned to adapt, to work together, to outthink their enemies. And every lesson they learned, the climbing, the scavenging, the tool making, the protecting of each other was passed on, generation after generation, until finally, those fragile beings evolved into us. Next time you sit in your home, safe, warm, with food at your table, remember this, it was not always this way. Your ancestors once lived under open skies, with nothing but their wits keeping them alive. They looked death in the eye every day. They went hungry. They froze in the dark. They climbed trees to escape predators, but they endured, and because they endured, you are here today. The story of 4.7 million years ago is not just about survival. It is about the beginning of the human spirit, a spirit that refuses to give up, a spirit that continues to fight, a spirit that still lives inside you. If you enjoyed this journey into the distant past, do not forget to share this video with others. Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more powerful history stories that will keep you inspired and amazed. Mm -hmm.